movers. This is people who could possibly shake up the world. Stephen Colbert, you know, is a mover, and uh, Michael Moore could be a mover. People who are being listened to and their hearts are in the right places, and they complain about the poverty, and they just don't yet know how a time bank system would solve all those problems. And they haven't heard about the Unilex resolution, and they or their support people haven't Googled for anti-poverty system, or they haven't Googled for anti-poverty engineer. And then you got some articles about Termel and the effect my videos are having. And then some usury articles of Google alerts on people talking about usury. And all the people who think that usury is too high interest. Well, I'll tell you what. Ezekiel said, the wicked is he who exacts usury or excessive interest. So, if interest is on cows that have babies, that's okay, a little bit. God said. But too much is excessive interest. But usury is different. If you ask for an increase on something that doesn't have babies... That creates the death gamble, fight to the death, because it's an impossible demand, because the gold is sterile. Therefore, if the interest creates the death gamble between the participants, that's the sin of usury. But if the interest is asking for a couple of extra cows out of the hundred you lent them for a year, God might think that's pretty reasonable interest. But it's better to take no interest at all, hoping he'll help you back later if you help make him rich now. So finally, that's the usury, and I'm trying to get these people to realize that the Unilets is the fulfillment of every good book out there. I've also found out that the Hindus and the Buddhists, finally, after years of looking for texts saying that they are against interest, I hear there are some, but I had called all the you know, the important Islamic texts and Christian texts and, and Jewish texts to do my Bible poem, and uh, now I find out that other great religions have knocked Loan Shark in two. So this is a time where if the great religions can be urged to come together, especially if they're attending these world social fora, all we got to do is get a resolution to institute Unilex and the world is fixed overnight. Imagine, you got some starving little kid in Sudan and all of a sudden he sees this caravan of trucks coming and hey, guys with guns, you know, and he's sitting there in the field starving. But the first truck stops and says, hey, the world's fixed now and we're bringing along supplies. See, there's food and there's clothes and there's, you know, shoes and there's this and there's that and education and uh, medicine. And But hang on, first truck, you got to sign here for your interest-free credit card because whatever time we put into saving you, 20 years, you're going to put it back to helping us back. Fair enough. Yeah, where do I sign? Little kid signs, and away he goes. He's got his interest-free credit access to the world's excess resources. And that's what heaven is going to come to most of the world as a surprise. Just like that. I was speaking to someone today who just said it not going to happen. I said, hey, it could be here on February the 1st. That's how most of the world won't even know about it. They will not have expected it to happen, but a few important movers can pull off weird stuff. Like, how did I get invited to the UN? And when I got into the UN, how did I get invited to do the speech on banking? And when I did the speech on banking, how did it manage to end up on the Millennium Resolution when there were censors there who cut out the word Unilex and they cut out interest-free, its main feature, but they left in time-based currency. And as long as the currency is time-based, it can't inflate no more. So, these are all the different people I have to try and contact and push along to say, if we can get an agreement to support the Unilex resolution out of these two fora, then every corporate bank out there would be wise to set up the software and offer time bank accounts with all those other accounts they offer until we phase out the national accounts and everybody's on the unilet standard the time standard of money where human time is equal to gold for the first time in human history setting the debt slaves free so i can retire as king of the pauper my job done when there's no more paupers no more need for the king of the paupers but as long as there's Poor people out there, it's the duty of the king of the paupers to set them free. And who knows, 10 days could be done. I'm saying my prayers, you say yours. Go read your Our Father again, and you'll see that, son of a gun, give us today tomorrow's bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. The day you got an account at the Unilets Bank, no one's chasing you for debts, you're not chasing no one for debts, and you got tomorrow's bread, call that heaven. 
I agree. I'm engineering heaven on earth by following Jesus' blueprint. Is I his blueprint? Me, am I his blueprint? Some Hindu Buddhist blueprints. And the blueprints all say the system's got to be a 1 over S. Laplace transform integrator account. John the engineer, Termel, engineering heaven. So what can you do to help? Speak up. There are 15 hours worth of videos available now from a banking systems engineer explaining all the malfunctions and the lies and the bull that you've been told about the banking system, as well as how to fix it. I mean, after these 15 hours worth of lessons, I can't believe anybody cannot understand how their salvation and the salvation of their families and their kin is in expanding the economic lifeboat that Lex has been called for your community, your own community currency, into a worldwide lifeboat that becomes a ship of life for everybody. So... What can you do to help? Well, I don't have the time to contact the people I speak to other than just posting these articles. I don't have the time to contact Stephen Colbert and say, hey, why don't you do your Colbert Nation and run a time bank instead of asking them to lose the time they give. I don't have the time. I wish I did. I can only lay these messages out knowing they're here for posterity and say that the people who've been asked to contribute, someday you'll be asked, why didn't you? You had a chance to, all we had to do was influence two important fora to come together, not against all the thousands of ills that they are now bemoaning, but for the one common good, the time standard of money, where humanity finally steps into power of individual economic potential. And you can only do that when you have access to your national or international bank without the loan sharks attacking, attaching their vig and their usury and their take to every new dollar we bring into circulation. So remember my miracle equation. Ten guys borrow ten, they all owe eleven at the end of the game. Nine guys come up with eleven. Tenth guy gets squeezed out of his death gamble, mort gage in French. And all you have to, like musical chairs where someone's always squeezed out, all you have to do is add an extra chair, equalize chairs and people to end that elimination aspect. And all we have to do is equalize debt and money to end the elimination aspect of the death gamble, causing all the genocide and hunger by hunger around the planet. So these two fora have the potential by February the 1st to come out with declarations on that last day, declaring that they are urging the time standard of money be established in a worldwide unilets run by any organization or software we want because it's open for everyone to watch and no one can steal, and thereby take over the goal line, the ball that's going to score the victory and set us debt slaves free and end my 30-year mission in under 30 years. And I thought it was only going to take about 10. So that would be nice, and I can retire and go back to play poker and do other fun stuff instead of fighting for it. And of course, after that, once the money system's fixed, well, there's no more threat to the pulp and paper industry and the cotton industry if they legalize marijuana. So all the lies to keep the tree illegal, which is a threat to the commercial businesses, by blaming the buzz of the bud, well, they're gone. Same with busting people for prostitution and busting people for gambling and all these stupid prohibitions whose only purpose is to torment the debt slaves so they ain't got time to think. So busy with their bobos, they don't have time to think about revolution. Remember, the guys running the banking system have been running the military-industrial slavery complex throughout all of our history. They're experts. Go read The Babylonian Woe by David Astle, the greatest book about banking in ancient history on the planet. I've got a book report at my site. Grand book, exceptional book. It'll open you up to the horrors of the world that the banksters have been running for the last millennia. But it's also exciting to know that as they get together and they conglomerate, it gets easier and easier for us to reprogram in less and less bank computers. And if it's ever one big bank computer, well, then it's only just like on Star Trek, Mr. Spock. I can get in there, upgrade one computer, and the world's fixed overnight. Well, we can do that now. 
The technology's there. If the rich and the poor get together in the next 10 days, we're all saved. If not, well, we got a year to work on them until the next time. And then a year again, until at some point they're going to, hey, we could go through 100 million dead people a year for nothing until they figure it out, but we're going to have to keep pushing them. And that's what my message is now.